Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. I know you all are going to love this one because it's a hump day special, meaning it's going to get you through the week so we can see you all Friday. And I know you're going to love Friday's episode as well, but I know you're also going to enjoy this episode because it's a quick one that we're going to talk about maturity dates. There's a lot of misconceptions because there's not a very good definition of what the maturity date is. Many seed packets use days to maturity. And the problem is, is days to maturity is really what they intend on kind of showing the gardener what the days till harvest is. And so you might be wondering, well, what, what is the difference? I thought the days till harvest was the days to maturity. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of people think. If you look at the back of uh, lettuce packets or the uh, radish packets or any of your edible greens, things like that, there's a days to maturity of around 25 to 45 days, depending on what you're growing. But the problem is, is that's the days to harvest and the packet says days to maturity. So you would probably think they're the same. Well, they are in certain circumstances, but there's actually a big difference. So what I mean, what I'm getting at, and I'm probably, I'm hopefully gonna bring you all into a centralized uh, set, you know, understanding of this topic by the time we're done because it's, it gets to be a little confusing and I can see why there's a lot of confusion around this topic. So if you're growing things that produce a fruit, like watermelon, tomatoes, any type of melon, peppers, whatever, if it's a fruit that you're harvesting, by the time that fruit is ripe and ready to be harvested, it has viable seed inside. The actual definition for the days to maturity is the amount of days it takes that crop to produce viable seed. And so you can see right there in that definition is the exact reason why we can't really look at 30 to 45 days for lettuce as being the maturity date, even though that's what packets will say. It should say days till harvest because the actual maturity date of lettuce is around 80 to 100 days. And so yes, that's right. When you look at a packet of lettuce seed and a packet of watermelon seed, you'd be shocked to, to realize that the actual maturity date on both of these crops is the exact same time. <laughs> Mind blown, right? So you really do have to understand that um, because it helps you better understand what you're growing and your intended purpose. If you're looking to harvest seed from lettuce, you're not going to get lettuce in 30 to 40 days, or you're not going to get lettuce seed in 30 to 40 days. You'll get a harvest in 30 to 40 days because you're harvesting the leaves. But just because it's producing leaves does not mean the plant is mature. Okay, so I hope that I hope that better clarifies uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh, whereas, you know, obviously, like I stated, the watermelons or any fruits you have, they they have to be ripe, and when they're ripe, the fruit or the the seeds are also viable inside, making that one pretty easy. You know, they're the unit, they're 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 exactly the same, the days to harvest and the days to maturity. So uh, hopefully that clarifies any questions that you have, or maybe it gives you some more questions that you have in which you can post them in the comments box below. But I wanted to end on a really interesting one. So another great example is root crops, things like um, uh, onions and carrots, which are actually considered biennial, meaning they flower the second year. The actual days to maturity, although the seed packet will tell you around 65 days for carrots and around 110 days for onions, is so far off from the actual maturity date because those are the days to harvest. That's when you're going to harvest the crop is 65 to 110 days. The actual maturity date is somewhere along the lines of 250 to 300 days for the actual maturity of the crop. That means it actually has to uh, go through winter or go through a cold spell, produce a flower stalk. That flower stalk then has to be pollinated. Then the seeds actually have to mature inside. And that can off that whole process of producing viable seed can often take twice as long as just producing the onion or the, the carrot itself. So uh, I just hope you all enjoyed. I hope you learned something new and hopefully none of you are confused. I would love to answer any questions you have in the comments box below. 
It's a definitely an interesting topic and one worth creating conversation around. So weigh your thoughts in in the comments box below. I'd love to read them and we'll see you all Friday. This is Luke from the Amite Gardener channel. Hoping you all enjoyed, hoping you learned something new and we'll catch you all later. See ya, bye.